Well, you know, I was a, uh, a captain in the one seven fire department for about 20 years. Um, I has, have a total time of professional firefighter as, a, as 28 years. And during that time, I sustained a lot of injuries from roof collapse and just the stress of the, of the job. And I um, got to where I couldn't function anymore. I was having uh, numbness in my leg and my right thigh, but it actually had gone down to my foot, but I wasn't aware of it at the time. And it was causing me to fall uh, when I, under the weight of my gear. And uh, so basically um, it got to where I was becoming a hazard to the crew and to myself. So the, uh, the doctors wrote me out of work. Um, I got to where I own a, a tree business where we climb trees, take them down, um, and we're in a harness up in ropes and using saws at high elevations. And it got to where it was too dangerous for me to even do that. Um, so I basically, over the last, I guess, four years, I've been going to a, a doctor who just recommended surgery, but told me to try to prolong it as long as I could, but only fix it would be a surgery. So I finally got to where I was just so weak and tired. Uh, I just felt like, you know, I just turned 50 and I was really going downhill in my strength. And um, I was at a uh, tractor supply. I just got back into the um, my truck after walking around the store, and I was just feeling sick. My leg was hurting, my back was hurting, and it was on Saturday. And I heard the radio program, uh, and I thought, "What is what I got to lose?" So I made a I called, made the appointment, um, and that kind of led me to where I'm now. So I don't know what week I mean. What we're about like the tenth week or eleventh week or something right now, maybe. And probably about the third week, I felt better. The, actually, the very first day, I don't know if the doctor remembers this, but he um, adjusted my back and it felt like I could breathe again. I didn't even realize the tension that my back and my chest was under. Um, and then within two um, visits, I had not been able to turn my neck <laughs> in probably 20 years of the wearing the air pack and all the gear that's on your shoulder. Um, every fireman I know turns their whole body not not their neck and uh, I noticed that I went home and told my wife look at this look what I can do now and uh, it was just really amazing and then probably about the sixth or about the sixth week um, I realized I started having a funny feeling in my foot and it was where the 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 feeling was coming back in my foot that I didn't even know had been numb for all these years um, you know here probably in the last two weeks I've really noticed my ability to move around the job site. I feel stronger. I have a three-month-old grandson that we take walks and run around now, and it's just kind of um, kind of brought me back to where I should be and where I want to be compared to where I, the, the path I was headed was straight down, getting weaker. Um, I was having stomach problems, having other health issues, and a lot of that is cleared up. Um, I sleep. At night now, I, uh, I I'm not tossing and turning, keeping her up. Um, she saw just a tremendous uh, change in my attitude and also my ability to run around with the grandkids. And it's just it's just been a blessing. I, you know, um, I put all my faith into the surgeons uh, because that's where all my the, we had doctors in the fire department who suggested that I go to these surgeons, and they were super guys, super nice guys. But I think a lot of times they're a little narrow-minded to somebody out of their field. Uh, same with me, like in the tree business. You know, I think I'm the only guy that can cut a tree. You know, but there's but there is different organizations out here who can uh, treat something without a surgery. What I know now is I have gotten my life back. I have been healed and I continue to get better every day. Where before, under their advice. I was going, I was, uh, my health was going down. My strength was going down and my overall um, happiness was going down. You know, I, I, I couldn't even carry my grandson around. You know, that's a, that's a big one right there when you're out playing around and he's wanting you to pick him up and you can't because you're afraid you're going to fall. And now I pick him up and we run, you know, it's just a, it's just a great, it's just a great time. Not only has it been a, a great experience for my health, but it's also, you know, I listen to so you talk to other clients and encourage them and you encourage me and uh, the atmosphere in the uh, office has just been wonderful. Probably the best experience I've ever had in a doctor's office.